he's hardly a flyweight. Well, and that, and he just, you know, his record's deceiving because when you when you don't care and you're a gangster about it and you fight the toughest dudes around, your record, you're, you're, you're going to lose the fights as amateurs. This is part of an epic you know? rematch. Last time so, these fighters fought together, I'm excited it to see was that an outright too, so. war. This fight is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the DC Amateur Catchweight Division fight. I have a hard time uh, talking during Nebraska fights like this. You, you can't know, win I want to watch, so it's, it's tough for me. Introducing first, finding out the Nebraska Lottery red cor blue corner. This wrestler stands five foot nine, weighed in 161 pounds. Built an amateur record, six wins, nine defeats. Training out of top tier MMA and finding out North Platte, Nebraska, Mark Hooper. His opponent across the DC cage, fighting out of the I-80 tattoo red corner, is a striker standing five foot ten, weighed in 161 pounds. Built an amateur record, three wins, seven defeats. Training at a 6-9, one-on-one, and fighting out of County, Nebraska, Big Nick Sutton. <laughs> Your referee is Brandon Fon and Steele. Here we go. Anything short of a brawl, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. Yeah. I think he had a low shot. That was a good setup, though. He, he threw some hands right in front of that kick, man. That's what you got to do at this level, you know, the upper amateur levels. Yeah, both guys have taken quite a bit of uh, time off since their last fight. I said, I think for both of these guys, it was having the right opponent to come back. Yeah, get motivated for. Yeah. They're, do, they're both doing super well at throwing hands in front of those kicks, man, and their kicks are landing because of that. About 10 fights a piece at least, so yep. quite a bit of experience for amateurs. Oh, oh he catches oh, him with the hook. Him. Oh, man. Don't Both count Nick out, though, man. He's got a hard Ooh. head, and he doesn't. And he dropped him. You'd think he would break away right now instead of trying this knee, letting Nick get a rest because he's just recovering right now. Now you're breaking away. I'd like to see uh, Mark Hooper go for more like the elbow. Yeah, man, you, he let him recover too much, you know. Now he's good, you know, maybe a little cobwebs, but he's good right now. He's almost second guessing when he wants to go punch. They're kind of stutter stepping in. I think he just needs to throw, just yep. trust his skills. Now he's going to be a little intimidated coming in, you know, after you get hit with a shot like that. Second guess coming in like that, so he needs to get his offense going again. Stop dropping his hands. I look, yeah, I like the footwork for Sutton, just not the hand position. He's dropping his hands a lot. Yeah, I, especially for amateurs, I really don't like seeing well, ones that keep their hands quite a bit lower. Yeah, you know, I think you get this false sense of security with your striking. And, and you're you know, not skilled enough as an amateur to be doing that. Well, and yeah, I mean, you're keeping your hands up, you're getting tagged here, you know? Yeah. Now, he's just gotta keep his hands up and take him and give him one. You know, once you once you block one and give one, then he's gonna step off and he's getting comfortable. About 30 seconds, Sutton's gonna have to pick up something big to kind of steal this round away. At this point, I still think he's trying to cut, recover a little bit, get his breath back a little bit. Cooper seems to be the more powerful striker. Yeah, Nick, Nick keeps taking deep breaths, man. Oh, oh nice he caught, got through there. He caught Hooper himself. But hands are up. He's backing straight up. A little stare down. He's V-lining backwards, man. He needs to cut We're an angle at some point. We're going to round number two. Once again, this fight's brought to you by Nebraska Lottery. We'll see them. I think they're starting to get away from their combinations for their hands. Yeah, starting to throw big. Got to set it up. You can even go tap, 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 and then throw the hard shot. But you got to start putting more together. Yeah, now, now it's going to get intense. It'll be interesting the second round because of that little ending, how they come out. 
still give it to Mark Hooper. All day. Yeah, yeah for that for knockdown. Sure. He was landing a lot more, too. The, yeah, the knockdown, he was landing a lot more. He was getting through a lot more, landing the harder shots. Man, they got away from uh, throwing the combos in front of those kicks, you know? And he's backing up straight, you know, and with his hands down. That's never good. And Special he, and shout anyways. out to our DJ Q. He's over there hanging tough. <laughs> coming from his waist. Now throat, can't have your hands down. You catch that overhand right. Once you put that combo together and then throw the kick. Yeah, it got through. Look at that print on his back, man. Mark well, you could have heard, you heard the slap. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's doing a good job of staying there with his hands up in good position, you know? And when he gets kicked or hit, he's bringing one back and that's, that's the big thing, because it's getting Nick to go straight backwards in a V-line with his hands down without cutting any angles. Oh, we're one cup shot apiece right <laughs> now. Shake it out those arms. They're getting away from uh, throwing those combos that they were in front of those kicks like they were in the first round. There's a nice, you know, now you gotta finish it up though. What, throw a leg kick or, you know, a couple more punches. I like the footwork for Sutton, but it's just, he's missing the technique for the stand up, or for the striking. Yeah. You know, he let some of his fundamentals go away to get this. You know, uh, this idea that you're having these advanced striking techniques. Yep. Well, even when he's throwing his jab, it's coming back to his waist, and that's that's how he was getting caught there. Uh, suckered right into the takedown. Let's see if I uh, thought Hooper could have took advantage of that and passed a half guard at the moment, but he's now he's gonna have to work from guard. He's doing a good job now. He's got to get his hands off the mat, and get inside position. Because. He can pass at any time, you know, if his if his guards passes are open. Good. Guards yeah. open. See if he stands up and throws it over. Something's not really gonna set up any kind of submission from there. Yeah, I think he just needs to uh, work on getting getting his back against the cage again, stand up, because you're not in this position. You're not gonna get a get a submission. Let's see, you can go feet to hips, maybe kick out. Yep. Hooper needs to just pass that leg over. Nice pass. Oh, he does. One thing that drives me nuts is when guys are uh, on the bottom in side control and they just keep their leg up there like that. You need to you need to get in good position because you're not moving here. Oh, you're not. In. You're not going to advance in that position. Yeah, basically you're you're kind of sitting in neutral, man. You're not going to do anything, and if anything, you can still set up submissions from there. Yep. I don't really care too to much to somebody. And final round and a fight well, once I again always, brought to you by the grapple, Nebraska Lottery. You know, I keep my knee up there, but I'm constantly moving. I'm shrimping yeah. in. I'm staying tight, thinking, oh, I'm safe just because my knee is up. You got, you got to give them something to worry about, or else people will just sit there and punch you. You know. Yeah. I think Nick uh, needs to keep it on his feet, not and and start throwing. You know, go back to the original. You know, he looks a little tired, but you know, he, in that second round it was close. But then you get the takedown. I feel he's down uh, down by two rounds here. I think we need to finish from Nick, or you know, he's gonna lose this fight. I think Hooper just needs to hang tough, like you said. I think he's uh, up to play conservative. I'd be looking for the counter, man, because Sutton's hands have been down while he's striking. Mm -hmm. Just aim for the chin after he strikes. Just know it's gonna be open. Yeah. Well, and don't, you better keep your hands up because they can land one, you know? He, he can land one, but I, I he needs to set it up. Actually, 
wouldn't mind seeing Hooper go for a takedown. He, he had quite a bit the better on the ground. Oh, for sure. He, he starts aggressive. Good, good jabbing. But now it's see it's coming down to his waist. See, nice kick. He's got to bring that kick right yep. back. Or he's going to get caught and take it down, you know. Put something in front. He switched his stance a little bit, but he's got to do something. No. One, three, two. Oh, there's a nice little oh. guilty. Hey, he fishes that in. He can get it. Good wrist control from uh, Hooper. Yeah, he's got good hand control. I don't think he's going to get that. I think he needs a break away. And, oh, he's got a lock, though. Starting to work it How in. How does he believe in it? Oh, no. rushes it a little bit. See, he goes X guard sweep, sticks on the back. Ah, I like that from Hooper. I think this is great for him. Gets the double unders, see if he can get the trip. Nick needs to circle off that cage. He's sitting in his corner too. Good head position. You know, he's getting good head position. He's got that underhook. Leg in between the legs. Pretty safe to say he got those first two rounds too. Oh, another, another cup shot. That one hurt. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Corners just look like, okay, breathe, buddy. <laughs> Can't give you much advice on yeah. this. You're gonna have to tough this out on your own. Jingle them out. those angles but you gotta throw something off him. Interesting thing, I think uh, oh. Sutton, or I think uh, Hooper kind of got screwed on the restart because they uh, separated him. Yep, oh, that, was, that was the best thing that could have happened for Nick right now. He needs to stay in this range because he just caught him with the two. You just need to go. Oh, he's gotta be careful reaching for that kick. Honestly, I think Sutton should go for the head kick. He's really worked that body kick. Might be able to uh, sucker him into that. He's taking a deep breath, man. Third round's all about heart in this game, man. Move it left. Hooper more on one shot now. Yeah. See? He needs more of a barrage of punches than that one, too. You know, because he's doing a good job of angles. You can't sit there, though. Stalling 101. Yeah. I don't know what Sutton was talking about. He looks up like, oh, are you going to stop it? Like, no. He should have stayed there right on those elbows. Oh, he should not have pulled a guy no. like that. What are you doing? It's 10 seconds left. Body lock and hold on and call it good. Mm -hmm. Well, he should have threw more punches, you know. That was a good, that was good by uh, by Mark, man. We're going to the judges' scorecards. Once again, this line's brought to you by the Nebraska good, Lottery. Good Can't win if that, you don't you know, play. They, they do not like each other, but they look like they respect each other a lot, you know. When you've had two wars with people, I mean, Think uh, three zero mark. <laughs> three zero mark. Uh, at least two one. At least. Fight fans. After three rounds of amateur MMA, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the bout 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision, Big Nick Sutton.